Over the last 20 years, many landowners have discovered they didn't have to settle for the typical hunting experience of going through trail cam picks of nice velvet bucks in September, only to see them disappear from their property in October and November. There is a way to attract and hold nice bucks on most hunting properties well into the hunting season by creating and improving several different types of habitat features. But better habitat alone is not the only solution. Especially in areas of high hunting pressure, these properties need to be set up in a way that allows mature bucks to live and move around during daylight hours without feeling the pressure of the landowners who hunt it. These strategies are not taught in any university where you get a 40,000 foot view on how to create better deer habitat. I'm talking about manipulating pressured mature buck habitat down to the micro level by eliminating as many red flags in a buck's core area as possible. And there are dozens of potential red flags that vary from property to property. They're all situational and it's not something that you can learn in a weekend workshop and then decide you're going to start helping other landowners fix their hunting property issues. For a couple of 60-something guys, it has taken Jake and I over 40 years to understand the nuances of not only pressured mature buck habitat, but how and when to move in and hunt these animals without tipping them off into nocturnal behavior. What Jake Ehlinger has done to his small 67-acre farm in a high-pressured area of southern Michigan is truly a masterpiece of great habitat where he consistently shoots the top 5 to 10% buck or two every year with a bow. And many times he calls his shot before heading out to the woods. On the flip side, even though I have property to work on myself, I love the challenge of going out on public land or knock-on-door permission in Michigan, Ohio, Kentucky, and Wisconsin, where other landowners are also given permission to hunt. I love the challenge of scouting a new property in the spring and then returning in the fall with my bow to make it happen. Jake and I both have had the privilege of making a career change into doing something we barely consider work, helping other landowners transform their hunting property into a place where they and their family can experience a much higher level of success when it comes to seeing and shooting more mature bucks. We both have our own full-time habitat consulting business. Jake started Habitat Solutions 360 about 22 years ago. He was one of the first guys out there to really take deer habitat improvement to a higher level, first on his own property starting in 1981 when there was no internet and very few articles written on the subject. My consulting service is called Strategic Habitat, which I started about nine years ago. For both of us, it's what we do full time. We don't have any sponsors for any hunting industry products on the side. We only recommend products we use or is one of the best in its category. Our growth depends on the success of our clients and their word of mouth. Between the two of us, we visit about 150 properties a year across 20 different states. Our visits involve scouting the property with a landowner to create a detailed habitat plan and hunting strategy. Some of the landowners have us come back to help them execute parts of the plan, such as hinge cutting to create bedding areas, transition zones, travel corridors, and pinch point funnels. Some landowners have us come back several years in a row. This gives us the ability to follow up and see firsthand how deer adapt to different types of habitat around the country. In the last few years, Jake and I have had the opportunity of working together on hunting properties in different states. Usually it's a case where the landowner already has a habitat plan, but doesn't have the time or the ability to execute the plan. A common theme we've noticed over the years for various reasons is not all landowners actually start the process of cutting trees to improve their habitat. On some properties we visit, the landowner has someone else come in to hinge cut trees for them. Unfortunately, what we find is either not enough trees were cut in the right locations, or they were cut too high or too low for the situation, or the detail work wasn't completed after the trees were cut. Successful hinge cutting is not just laying trees horizontally. There are several different factors that go into creating hinge cut areas which deer will actually use consistently year after year. This is where Jake and I separate ourselves from many in the habitat industry. As a matter of fact, we found that some of our clients who have worked with us in the woods for a day or two to learn the art of successful hinge cutting go on to do great work on their own properties and follow up with stories and pictures of successful hunts, which is very gratifying. This past spring, Jake and I had the opportunity to work on a property in West Virginia where Jim Ward, who Jake and I considered to be at the top of the hinge cutting profession, had been there a couple years prior to create deer cover and browse on a large scale with the idea that the landowner would go in later to carve out the detail work of creating individual buck beds and travel corridors throughout the hinge cuts. But like what happens many times, life gets in the way of landowners being able to complete the work. 
That was the case on this property. So the landowner had us come in for a couple days to open up travel corridors, create bedrooms for does, individual buck beds, and manipulate deer movement past several stand locations that we picked out for him. Before we left the property, we walked the landowner through all the new ambush setups and explained in detail the best time of season, the best time of day, the specific weather conditions he needs to have before taking certain access trails to the tree or blind setups. Jake and I have found that a higher percentage of landowners who have us come to set up these properties for them contact us later with success stories and photos. A couple of years prior, a landowner in Pike County, Illinois, had just purchased a couple properties and asked Jake and I to come out and create a habitat plan, as well as spend a couple days showing him and his hunting friends how to hinge cut trees for different purposes. So as they gave us a tour, we would stop along the way and explain what simple changes they could make right away that year in several different areas of the property. We also created several hinge cut bedding areas with some steering trails and created a long screen next to the neighbors with a hinge cut feathered edge along a large food plot. Later that evening, after a great meal of grilled elk and venison steaks, Jake gave a slide presentation to the group showing a variety of habitat types, screening, entry and exit strategies, pinch point examples, and time lapse photos of what to expect after you start down the habitat improvement journey. These were great opportunities for these landowners to get a couple of experienced habitat guys to work side by side to really move the needle on their road to consistent opportunities at mature bucks. Whether it's working together in Pike County, Illinois, or West Virginia, or in the high pressured state of Michigan, after two to three days of hinge cutting together, we both feel very excited for the landowner because we know the detail work we do will translate into mature buck sightings and shot opportunities in the very spots we created which will lead them past multiple stand sites. For some hunting properties, this service of Jake and I working together may not be a good fit due to the property layout or the habitat type which can limit our ability to fully benefit the landowner. We review each property online before committing to that landowner. Due to the number of landowners we travel to and visit on our own, our schedules limit the number of properties on which we can work together. We're already booking landowners into 2023, so if this is something you're considering for your property, both of our contact information is in the description below. So in the meantime, good hunting and good habitat.